Albert Einstein told us that we could never see the beginning of the universe, no matter how good our telescopes got. But now, James Webb saw something unusual that could be close to the Big Bang. No stars and no galaxies, just a big void. Was this the beginning of everything? And does this groundbreaking discovery now give us the most important answers regarding our existence and the true conditions in the early universe? Albert Einstein was very probably right. How can we look at an event that presumably emitted no light and that not only took place in complete darkness, but was also so incredibly huge that all our physical standards fail at this one point? Allegedly, our universe emerged from a small point around 13.8 billion years ago, a singularity that fell out of a state of perfect equilibrium due to an equally small irregularity and then became what we call the universe today. This single point, from which our cosmos probably emerged, can still be found in the universe today within the black holes. Our measuring methods also fail there because the forces are so enormous that they go towards infinity. James Webb, NASA's new space telescope, has now seen a black hole and a large void at the beginning of time, which may have existed before the first star shone in the cosmos. Shrouded in Complete Darkness Imagine the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. It is a hot, dense mixture of particles and radiation that is expanding rapidly. At this stage, there is still no light in the conventional sense, as photons, the particles of light, are constantly interacting with the dense, free protons and electrons and cannot travel freely through space. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe cools down enough to allow the formation of the first neutral atoms, mainly hydrogen and helium. This cooling leads to photons being able to move freely, creating the cosmic microwave background. But the universe remains dark, as there are still no light sources such as stars or galaxies. Reionization begins a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, when the first stars and galaxies form. These young, hot stars emit intense ultraviolet radiation that ionizes the surrounding neutral hydrogen atoms. This process splits the hydrogen atoms into protons and free electrons, making the universe more permeable to ultraviolet and visible light. The formation of the first stars and galaxies is heralded by gravity. Under its influence, gas clouds, especially hydrogen and helium, begin to condense. In these condensed regions, the pressure and temperature rise to such an extent that nuclear fusion begins in the cores of the first stars. Light is produced and these stars shine brightly for the first time. They contribute significantly to the reionization of the universe. During this time, the universe becomes increasingly transparent. The radiation from the first stars and galaxies is sufficient to ionize the dense fog of neutral hydrogen that filled the universe up to this point. This process continues until the entire intergalactic medium is mostly ionized, marking the end of the Dark Ages and the beginning of the universe as we know it today. So even with the best telescopes, we could only look back as far as the point when the universe became transparent and light could spread freely. Until now, scientists have assumed that this point occurred around 380,000 years after the Big Bang. James Webb discovers a great void the James Webb Space Telescope is currently the best and most powerful telescope and is designed to reveal the truth about the beginning of the universe. With 16 honeycomb-shaped mirrors and unique infrared technology, this telescope captures light signals that have been traveling to us for 13.5 billion years. Now, the telescope has already discovered some very old galaxies and the new superstar in the night sky has made another exciting discovery a black hole that existed 500 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery blows away our ideas of what the early universe looked like and what objects were in it. This black hole is not only incredibly old, but also unusually large. At around 10 million solar masses, it is not one of the largest known black holes, but for its existence at the beginning of time, it is unusually large. Black holes are basically nothing more than patches of vast emptiness, nothingness, but that's not all. These patches of nothingness have a special property, incredible gravity, which makes them magically attract other matter. Now you might be wondering how nothing can have such a high weight. 
Scientists explain this by saying that black holes gain weight due to the matter they suck in, or that the mysterious dark matter plays a role here. Like black holes, dark matter is invisible. We only perceive it because its weight bends space-time. Scientists have now observed another incredible fact about the black hole discovered by James Webb. The black hole is growing incredibly quickly, and the researchers have no idea why. If we measure the age of this black hole by the growth rates we know from today's black holes, the black hole would have to be older than the universe itself. That sounds impossible, doesn't it? Nevertheless, we can't rule it out, because there are theories that say that some elements of our cosmos could have already existed in a precursor universe. But it's also possible that black holes that existed in the early days of the universe had completely different properties to those we have studied nearby. Our cosmology is wrong. Since James Webb has been delighting us with one fascinating discovery after another, old theories have been seriously shaken. The fact is, something is wrong with our current cosmology. Huge black holes that grow very quickly and galaxies that must also be almost older than the universe break the framework of almost all previously valid theories and calculations on the Big Bang and the time after it. Scientists are facing a challenge and we may soon have a completely new cosmological worldview. New theories are emerging and old ones are being revived. The theory of variable physical constants, for example, proposes that different physical laws applied at the beginning of the universe. Fundamental physical constants, such as the gravitational constant or the fine structure constant, could have had completely different values in the early phase of the universe than they do today. This would explain why galaxies may have grown much faster and why black holes mysteriously became larger and larger. Another interesting approach that we would like to share with you is the theory of quantum gravity, which attempts to bring together Einstein's general theory of relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics. The theory of relativity describes forces and phenomena on a large scale. This also includes gravity. Quantum mechanics deals with the phenomena in the world of the smallest particles and the forces and phenomena that act there. Near the Big Bang, when the universe was extremely small and dense, the laws of quantum gravity may have dominated. However, Scientists have largely based the Big Bang theory and the calculations on the early developments of the universe on Einstein's physics of the largest phenomena. So, an error may have crept in here and James Webb is now showing the evidence for it. All in all, scientists are currently facing a puzzle that they need to solve. The Big Bang theory originated in the 1920s when the Belgian astronomer and priest, Georges Lemaitre, hypothesized that the universe originated from a single, compressed primordial point and then expanded in an extremely dense and hot state. Lemaitre first called this the hypothesis of the primordial atom. The idea of the Big Bang was further strengthened by the observations of the American astronomer Edwin Hubble. In the late 1920s, Hubble discovered that distant galaxies were moving away from the Earth, and the further away they were, the faster they moved. Scientists saw this as proof that the universe really is expanding. Over the course of time, other theories were added to complete these two basic assumptions. And so our cosmological worldview was born. Much of this was based on observations, others on calculations, and now we see things that simply no longer fit into these patterns and schemes. When did the first black holes appear? Let's travel back in time again this time looking at how the first black holes were created. These mysterious cosmic phenomena are not only fascinating, but also key to understanding the early universe. The formation of the first black holes is a topic that astronomers and astrophysicists are researching just as intensively as the formation of stars and galaxies. The first stars were formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, in an era that is almost unimaginably distant and mysterious. Scientists refer to these massive stars as Population 3 stars. Presumably, these stars did not live very long and died in huge supernova explosions. They may have left behind the first black holes in the universe. Another theory states that black holes formed before the first stars. Rotating dust disks, which could actually have become stars, can collapse directly into a black hole under certain circumstances. Black holes would then 
have existed before the first stars. But that is just the beginning of the story. There are supermassive black holes out there at the beginning of time that are millions to billions of times heavier than our sun. How could they become so massive so quickly in the earliest days of the universe? One theory is that they formed from smaller black holes that were constantly devouring matter and merging with other black holes. But then there would have had to be stars and matter that fell into these black holes. All in all, the results of the James Webb Space Telescope are a great mystery. James Webb can look deeper into the universe than any telescope before, right down to the first galaxies and the quasars powered by supermassive black holes. The telescope is like a time machine, and we can see the light from objects billions of years in the past. So we are really looking directly into the secrets of the early universe, and what we are seeing is like a miracle. Nobody had expected these things. It's as if a completely alien world appeared before the astronomers, speaking a language that no one currently understands. But these things are real. They are there, and we have to find answers now. It may take decades for researchers to find the errors in their formulas, and we may then learn that we live in a much older universe, or that there never was a beginning. Subscribe now and look forward to the upcoming video hits.